Hello, I'm Colin McMichael, and I'm the Education Coordinator here at Tree Folks. This is our fourth and final video in our Urban Canopy series, and today I'm going to be talking to you about live oaks. Now, live oaks are the third most common tree in Austin after the ash juniper and the cedar elm. However, if you go off of how often it's planted, live oaks are probably Austinite's favorite tree. Interestingly, there's actually two species of live oaks, though. You really can't tell them apart, and they both grow around here. So unless you see acorns on the tree, you're really not going to know which one is which. You can make a few inferences based on where they are, though. The first one I'm going to talk about is the southern live oak. This is Quercus virginiana. Quercus virginiana has much fatter acorns than the other uh, escarpment or plateau live oak. They're also found in lowland habitats near streams or riparian systems. Now, the escarpment or plateau live oak is Quercus fusiformis. Quercus fusiformis is known for being up on hilltops, liking limestone soil, and having thin spindle-shaped acorns. Now, fusiformis actually means spindle-shaped, so if you learn these Latin names, they're actually pretty helpful on IDs. The natural range of the southern live oak extends from the Gulf Coast to the southeast of Austin and the natural range of the escarpment live oak extends from the Edwards Plateau into the north and west of Austin. They meet in Austin, creating what's known as a hybrid swarm, in which most trees have intermediate characters between the two species. Generally speaking, live oaks in east and south Austin are more like Quercus virginiana, the southern live oak, and live oaks in north and west Austin are more like Quercus fusiformis, the escarpment live oak. Those in central Austin are often intermediate in character. Natural stands of Quercus fusiformis are not common in Austin proper, and are more likely to be encountered to the extreme north and west of the city. Regardless, both species are planted with regularity in the urban and suburban landscape. Here behind me is a great example of a heritage southern live oak. Now, I know it's a southern live oak because I've actually seen its acorns. They're pretty fat, and they're pretty round, so it's definitely southern. Also, I'm on the east side of Austin right now in Hornsby Bend down by the Colorado River, and that's really where you would expect to find southern live oaks. You don't really see them up in upland conditions very often unless they've been planted there. And when they are planted in upland conditions, they generally don't get this big. They stay kind of scraggly, scrubby trees. But when a southern live oak is in a riparian system and has access to groundwater, they can become enormous trees. I'm up in Northwest Austin in Robinson Park to show off my favorite example of a hybrid live oak tree. But I can tell it's a hybrid because I've actually seen the acorns. They're about halfway in between the skinny Quercus fusiformis acorns and the fat Quercus virginiana acorns. I'm up here in northern Williamson County to show off some escarpment or plateau live oaks. Now this is Quercus fusiformis, and fusiformis means spindle-shaped. So if you were to come up here at the right time of year, you would see that these trees have very skinny, spindle-shaped acorns. However, since uh, oak trees don't always have acorns on them, since these live oaks are up on top of a limestone hill and we aren't near water at all, it's pretty safe bet that these are going to be escarpment or plateau live oaks. Both species of live oaks native to central Texas and their hybrids have similar identifying characters. Live oaks all have dark green, glossy leaves held alternately along the stem. Occasionally, the leaves on some trees, especially younger specimens, can have points like a holly's to deter hungry deer. Live oak bark is furrowed and dark, and their branches often twist and wind through the air above them. Older trees can reach an impressive girth, but rarely exceed 50 feet tall, except in riparian conditions where they can be found towering over 80 feet. The obvious wind-pollinated male flowers of oaks that show up in the spring are called catkins and resemble long tassels. The less obvious female flowers develop into acorns, which is the only reliable way to tell the two native live oak species apart. Live oaks are a type of white oak and can therefore graft together their roots. Once grafted, nearby live oaks actually function as a single tree with multiple stems despite genetic differences. These stands are called oak moths and can include hundreds of individuals across acres of land. It is for this reason live oaks are so susceptible to the invasive fungus that causes oak wilt. 
Oak wilt spreads readily through these root grafts and can kill entire stands of trees. Live oak roots also sucker readily. These small sprigs bearing leaves rarely grow to be any larger and have been hypothesized to be a method for the trees to excrete waste products or toxins that accumulate in the soil. Live oaks are extremely important trees in central Texas, not only for the endless shade their evergreen canopies provide. The acorns of live oaks nourish our wildlife like white-tailed deer, turkeys, and squirrels. And Texas culture has become inexorably entwined by the magnetism and majesty of these trees. Hello, my name is Sasha Claire Avazian. I am the director of Live Oak Production. Live Oak is all about amplifying environmental events. We provide live music at tree planting events, habitat restoration events, all environmental events in an effort to stimulate engagement and increase participation. So why did I call it Live Oak? Well, let's start by looking around. Look at this beautiful Live Oak tree behind me. So you can't see this, but I live about 500 yards away in the Gable Central Park apartments. This is my neighborhood, this is where I'm from. Live Oak is all about keeping it local, keeping it authentic, and being true to you. I walk this park every single day, my band has done a photography shoot here. I proposed to my wife 200 yards that way on the bridge. So this tree and this park means a lot to me and it felt like that was a great place to start for my business. Second of all, I love the double meaning. It's a live event company and it's a live oak production. That's awesome. Third of all, credibility. So I was talking to somebody about my business, a 50 year old gentleman lived in Austin his whole life. I said, I work for Live Oak Production. He said, oh cool. And he acted like it was something that's been around forever. I was like, no, I just started this company. And he was like, oh my God, I'm blown away. I think because Live Oak is a part of the culture in Austin, Live Oak Brewing, lots of different organizations, it brings a credibility to the organization that is really helpful as I'm getting it started. And the last reason is accessibility. Um, my band is called American Dreamer. That's a pretty common name. We've had a lot of trouble kind of getting control of that domain and that handle. I was able to secure Live Oak Production, the website, the Instagram, and the Facebook. So across all the media, I am Live Oak Production. So that was a great thing because I don't have to tell people different things. There's always one way to find me. But I love Live Oaks. I love Live Oak Production. Let's get people to environmental events and let's keep doing great work to protect our planet. With that, we have now concluded our four-part series on Austin's Urban Canopy. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to visit our website. Under Learn and then Online Learning, you can find a list of lessons from EcoRise to enhance this experience. And finally, we would like to encourage everyone to stay home when possible, wear a mask in public spaces, and practice physical distancing to help curb the spread of COVID-19. If you feel starved for nature sitting at home, don't forget to check out our YouTube page for more content.